Hey, this is Joyce Chow for MBN News Video. Well, we're here at the Valentine Oscar Romance Suite here with Michael. Wait, wait, Michael Marcus. I have two first names. Can you believe it? I know. It, it confuses it's, it's people all the tricky. time. But I always love to see Michael because when it comes to cosmetics and skincare, Michael, you are like no other. Thank you, Joyce. I know. Because I have seen what you've been coming out with. And I've been following you ever since you started showing up at Gift Suites, what, a couple years ago? Oh, gosh, it's been, what, four or five years ago? Are you probably? serious? Has it yeah. been that long? Yeah. Okay. Now, last time, one of the celebrities, Ann Marin, who's actually a makeup stylist, and she deals with beauty all the time, she saw, and it's like, she took a beeline for you. <laughs> yes. Uh, prime. Oh! You know, that's why they don't let me touch anything. Um. Right? Uh, prime. It's unbelievable. It minimizes pores, fine lines, wrinkles, and... I think you'll find that uh, any celebrity here is going to go crazy over this product because it, it wipes out your pores instantly and it never looks like you're wearing makeup. And, you know, guys, they're kind of, oh, I, I don't know, makeup. But, you know, let's face it, it's TV and all the guys have to wear it, too. Well, they have to wear it for TV anyway. Yeah, absolutely. And, and no one likes to feel like they're wearing makeup. And, you know, case in point, I was watching one of the news stations the other morning and, and they had one of the lauders on there. and. That all the guys were saying, okay, look, you know, we do wear your products. We have to. And, <laughs> like, and you know, you do, men do have to wear it on TV. So what this does is it takes away that makeup look. So yes. men feel comfortable wearing it. You know, you could walk down the street. You could have it on. You could leave from the studio and go home. And nobody knows you have on but, anything, which is fantastic. But, you know, I can tell the difference in pictures. Because people, because yes. we photograph people so much, you, a lot of times... People will just go, the person that looks like an actor, or they look right. like an actress, and it's just that finished look that... Well, you want to look have. polished, you want to mm -hmm. look professional, but to me, I don't ever like an overly made-up look. You know, right, I, but it's still yeah. just clean. I mean... Right, I'm from Texas, but... I, mean, Does it look like I, I don't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I left off the red lipstick today, though, just for you. Okay, thank you. And I figured it's California, I can't wear red in California. Even though it's a Valentine's Day. I know, day. but you know, it's not dark yet. Oh. But so. you do have one of the most fabulous reds I have seen. I, I thank you. I, I which color, Debbie or glamorous? Well, they're both, but they're just a little bit different. They you know, are. the thing I love about both of them is they're unbelievable red carpet colors. Yeah. Uh, glamorous is fantastic if you've got a little tan going on, mm -hmm. and Debbie if you are snow white porcelain well, wait, should skin. Should we show them what we're talking oh, about? Because yeah. you're teasing you know, them. Because, look at this, fantastic, highly Whoa. pigmented, a little yeah. shine to it. But what is so amazing about Debbie is as you're drinking, you're going through the night, look at this. Oh, It's going to stain that. your lips and it's fantastic. That. I okay, love that. make you really kissable. And, and look at this other one. Glamorous. No, actually, the, here's the great part is because you do. Like, you know, you go to dinner, you have some drinks, right? Who wants right. to your makeup all over the glass? Well, you know, it's okay to leave a little bit. I don't love maybe the indelible lipsticks because, you know, all the harsh well, chemicals no, in them like, and you're and ingesting you them. It. and. No. Uh, but we use castor oil in them, and so they're softer, creamier, more luxurious in texture, and they feel very velvety and creamy on. I noticed that because I'm looking at it with the light on here with the camera because we're filming you in high right. def and 3D, right? So we pick up a lot of things that you might not otherwise see. But I'm look, it looks like dewy and moist. Yes, yeah. it's the castor oil in it. It has an unparalleled texture. Glamorous would be incredible on you, by the okay. way. You could you could pull off glamorous. Oh. But it has to come with attitude. See? Yep. Told you. <laughs> with attitude. You yeah. can pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's one of those things is you got to be able to pull these colors off too because they're intense. It's about confidence. They're gorgeous. It's confidence. And when you walk that red carpet, you have to have confidence. And I think so many people out there don't have the confidence to pull off red. You go, oh, I could never wear red. Well, it's about attitude. Well, that's half of the red carpet look is attitude. I know. It's I know. all about attitude. But it also works in day-to-day -day life because, you know what, with that confidence and attitude, not only do you look like you just came off the red carpet, but you also, you're probably going to get the promotions. Well, you know, right? another, another, another well-known documented fact. Yes. This is a fact. Men are attracted to the color red. Yeah, they, they are. They love mm -hmm. red. And what do they notice? They notice women wearing red. Mm -hmm. But you don't ever hear anybody say, oh my God, that's a, an unbelievable looking beige sports car out there. <laughs> it's always the hot little red sports car, the hot red dress. It does. You know, did, was there a it's song like about a, a lady in beige? It's like you brought the, like the flag and yeah. said. There, there's yeah. no song about the lady in beige. That's true. And come on. It's the little black dress. It's the woman in the hot smoking red outfit over there. Uh, yeah. Men love red, I'm telling red. you. Men, they do. They do? 
Okay, so what else do you have here that's really extra oh, cool? You know, our polishes are fantastic, and they've been on the red carpet so much, it's unbelievable. Uh, one year, like for the Grammys, I did Maya, and she was wearing cranberry polish, and, uh, you know, Kesha's worn, uh, like, monkeying around and Cabernet, which they're already gone, some of the deeper colors. And our polishes are formaldehyde free, Tulane free, DVP free, so they don't have the carcinogens found in so many of the polishes out there. But they're a beautiful lacquer. They're really rich they, and very they thick, are. and they're they gorgeous. don't just chip on you after five minutes. That's that's good. Yeah, that's really but good. But you don't want it, especially when you're wearing a, cute shoes and people are looking at your feet, and it's on a nice sunny day, sunny California. Um, Come on, right? You see why Michael, <laughs> Michael has such a fan club. Well, and one of my other favorites. Okay. All the rage right now. Well, I shouldn't say all the rage. What everybody's been talking about for the last couple of years has been min mineral makeup, mineral makeup, right, mineral makeup, right. right? And we are a twist. All brands can be classified as mineral makeup. However, what makes us so different than all of the other brands out there is we are a botanically based. Okay. What that means, uh -huh. and here's the difference. We use aloe, chamomile, squalene from olives. Those are all things that are good for your skin anyway. I know. Anyway. You would yeah. eat them, right? Yeah. You'd eat olives? Yeah. You'd eat yeah. aloe? Okay, aloe juice, maybe. No, but I, I drink aloe juice. Okay. I, every week. I don't love the taste of it. No, but it's, but but it's healthy. But it is right? healthy for you. You know, mix it with like a little vodka and it's okay. Ones. Yeah, But I mean, when you read our ingredient decks, you see those things on there. Lipsticks, castor oil. And it's an unbelievable antioxidant. So why not incorporate it into all your products? I don't use uh, sunscreen in anything because it's an extra added chemical. We can leave out. And so it is a conscious choice. And people, some people go, oh, my God, you don't have sunscreen? But, again, that's another chemical that you can leave out of your products that you don't have yeah. to put on your skin. Yeah. So, Well, and one of the mistakes that people make is they don't wear sunscreen at all or they rely on it or actually no actually one of the things they make is they rely on the sunscreen in their cosmetics when they right. actually should be doing it separately well and if you want true protection you have to reapply every 30 minutes right so are you going to take off everything and reapply no another reality is i'm inside all day i haven't seen sunshine at all uh, you know right okay i'm uh, by a window but there's an awning over it so I'm not exposed to the sun at all. I don't really need a sunscreen today. That's right. uh, I go to the beach. Okay, yes, I need a sunscreen. But on a day-in, day-out basis, if I'm in Vegas at a convention or shows, I never see sunshine. I wake up and I'm like, oh my oh, God, what we, time we is it? I need to get you a, at least a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> or at least need to open the curtains. I feel like I'm on the Vampire Diaries or something, you know? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? That would be good. But, you know, I, I don't get sunshine. So, again, it's a chemical I don't have to have, so that's I can good. leave it out. Yeah, that's very, very cool. So this is so neat. you got to check this stuff out, Michael Marcus. I always love your cosmetics, you. your skin care. Appreciate Where, it. Where's the best place to go online? MichaelMarcus.com. You don't have to fight a sales associate, and you get what you want. That makes it nice. I know. Yeah, you just have fun. Get, get what works. Thanks a lot, Joyce. Thank it's you, good Michael. to see you. Thanks.